Hello everyone, in this video I will be talking about uh, Spearman's rank correlation once again but that will be a separate problem from my first video. Uh, if you look into the first problem then in that particular problem there was no standoff between the ranks was appearing. The ranks were not tied up anywhere but this is the problem where uh, the ranks ties up and uh, a standoff appears amongst the values amongst the ranks and exactly how this kind of problem can be solved. Let's understand the problem first of all. Let us suppose there is a competition in which the judges, uh, two judges are there and the participants, it could be a dance competition or something in which the judges are uh, judging the participants out of 100 and uh, that's how two judges are giving the marks. You could clearly see the pattern that judge one is quite lenient in giving the marks, judge two is a little uh, conservative in giving the marks and you could see there are 10 participants in total. So first participant judge 1 has given 50 marks out of 100 and judge 2 has given 12 marks and so on. This, these paired values are appearing for each candidate the scores given by both the judges. Now my job here is to find out that how alike these two judges think or what is the uh, you could say that uh, what is the correlation between them. Since this is uh, again a problem of opinion, a problem of converting attribute into uh, I would say a numerical number. So the most suitable method here is Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, not the Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So I've talked only, talked in my first video about how to give the ranks. You can go give the highest number the lowest rank or the lowest number the highest rank. And my strategy is always that the highest number should be given the lowest rank. So I'll be, uh, the first step is to allot the ranks. So R1 is representing the ranks to the scores of judge 1. So what is the highest number here? 65. So 65 I am giving it rank number 1. Now you should see what is the second highest number. It is 57. It is given rank 2. Now what is the third highest number? If I look into the series, 50 is third highest number and it is given rank 3. Then after that, I would see which is the highest number that is 40 given rank 4. After that again, I search for the highest number here. After 40, the highest number is 33. It is given rank 5. Now after uh, 33, uh, I should see what is the next highest number. So in this particular case, I see the next highest number is where it is appearing 24 given rank 6. Now after 24 if I see what is the next highest number that is 15. But 15 is appearing 3 times 1, 2 and 3. So look at this. This is from where uh, you have to focus a little bit more. So if I look into the 24 it has been given with rank 6. The next rank is 7th. So I can give 7 to this 15, this 15 or this 15 any of them. So there are three consecutive numbers which are actually occupying the, the next three ranks. That means 7, 8th and 9th. So I'm going to take the average of 7, 8 and 9 and I'm going to allot the uh, rank 8 to all these numbers. So if I look into this thing, so 15 is appearing at 7th position, 7th rank. It is also appearing at 8th position it is also appearing at 9th position. All three positions 15 is appearing. So what I am going to do is I am going to take the average of these three th ranks 7th, 8th and 9th and I can say it is 8th. So I am going to assign the rank 8, 8, 8 to all 50 numbers. So 8, 8 here and 8 here. But the important thing is 6, 7th, 8th and 9th places are occupied. So the last number will be given the rank 10th. If you didn't understand, I will allot the rank 2 and we will see exactly how this thing works once again. So I will see the highest number here once again for just 2 scores. R2 is the, are the ranks allotted to just 2. So what is the highest number if you see the 24 is the highest number given with rank 1. The second highest number is 20 which is given rank 2. Now if you look into the third highest number which is 18 given rank 3. The fourth highest number is 15, which is given rank 4. The next highest number is 12, 
appearing at two places that means appearing at fifth and sixth places up to four the rank has been allotted already so fifth and sixth place 12th is appearing i divide it by two take the average and it becomes 5.5 so 12 will be given a rank both 12s will be given a rank 5.5 and 5.5 so fifth and sixth ranks are allotted now i look into the next smallest number which is nine here nine here it will be given rank seven because five and six have been taken by 12 now after that what is the next highest number if you look into this thing that is six sixth is six is appearing at eighth and ninth rank so eighth and ninth rank again i'll take an average of these numbers which will come out to be 8.5 so both six will be allotted the rank 8.5 and 8.5 the last number is so eighth and ninth rank is occupied the last number is eighth uh, what is left is four which will be given rank 10. so i have allotted the rank to uh, first judges scores and second judges scores you can pause the video you can re-see it that uh, so actually uh, i have to take the average of the tied up ranks not exactly of the values this is you need to take care of now the difference between the ranks R2 minus R1, it is hardly, it hardly makes a difference whether I do R1 minus R2 or R2 minus R1 because ultimately I have to calculate the square of it. So, uh, but uh, in this case I am calculating R2 minus R1. So that means 5.5 minus 3, it is coming up plus 2.5. So 0 0.5, 5.5 minus 5, 1 minus uh, then R2 minus R1, 1 minus 4 is minus 3, 8.5. 5 minus 10 that is going to give me minus 1.5 4 minus 8 is minus 4 10 minus 8 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 7 minus 6 is 1 8.5 minus 8 is 0 0.5 and 3 minus 2 is again 1 now I'm going to take their squares up so that is going to be 6.25 0 0.25 3 square is 9 1.5 square is 2.25 is going to be 16 this is going to be 4 that is going to be 1 1 that is again going to be 0 0.25 and that is going to be 1 so i'll be requiring the summation of d square for my formula so i calculate sum of d square that means total of all these numbers and that is exactly how much 41 in this case so this i'll be using in the formula let's go ahead and let's see exactly how the formula is now here is the formula to uh, calculate spearman's rank of correlation 1 minus 6 d square you have just calculated this summation d square is 41 which you have already calculated now the catch here is about this m so m is actually that how many times a particular value has uh, tied up or stand off and uh, i is representing the number of times that particular tie actually appears so if you look into the i how do you see the i first of all so uh, if you look into this particular problem right here how many times i dealt with the standoff so look at this so first I dealt off with a standoff when 15 appeared three times. Second time, what happened is 12 appeared and when I have to deal with a standoff. And third time there was a six which appeared and I have to deal actually third time with a standoff. So how many times I dealt with the standoff? Three times. So I will become equal to three. How many times I actually uh, means took the average of rank and allotted it. So you can see it from here also. Just a minute. So you can see that one time, two times and three times. So how many times I dealt with the problem of standoff thrice. So I will become equal to three. I'm repeating it how many times I dealt with the problem of standoff or tie three times in the entire problem so I will become equal to three 
if I dealt this kind of situation four times, I will become equal to four. If I have encountered this kind of situation five times, it will be, I will become equal to five. Now, depending on this I, how exactly the formula gets extended to and how we can solve it. So you can see the formula, you can pause the video and you can re-see the formula, you can note it down. Now I'm going to extend this formula as per my need. Now look into the formula. It was R is equal to 1 minus 6 sum of D square plus sum of, sorry it went a little up, I'll bring it down. M, now I is 3. So I will be ranging actually 1 to 3. So I will be ranging from 1 to 3 now. So mi, I am repeating it, mi square minus 1 divided by 12 and this whole argument goes with the division of n times n square minus 1. For your knowledge, n is number of paired observation which is 10 in this case. I know there are 10 candidates in total. You could see in the problem, how, what is the serial number? 10. So n is equal to 10. Now let's extend this formula depending on i. So how the formula is going to go? Look at this. 1 minus 6 sum of d square plus m1, m1 square minus 1 plus m2, m2 square minus 1 plus m3 and m3 square minus 1. Whole argument divided by 12 and further this whole argument is divided by n times n square minus 1. Now the next thing is, important thing is what is m1, m2 and m3. So that I am going to see from here. Now how many times the tie appeared? How many values were there in first tie? 3. So m1 is 3. How many values are there in the standoff? 2. m2 is 2. How many values are there in standoff? 2. m2 3 is also 2. That means i decides, i is decided by how many times standoff appears and within a standoff how many values are there that decides the value of m. I am repeating it. How many times standoff appears that decides the value of i and within a particular standoff how many values are there that's, that decides the value of m. So in first standoff the value of m1 is 3, in second tide the value of m2 is 2, in third standoff the value of m3 is Two, because there were two values, two values and three values involved, m3, 1, 3, m2, 2 and m3, 2. Now the calculations are rather simple here, you could see that. Now uh, it is going to be 1 minus 6 sum of d square, you have already calculated, it is exactly 41 and then plus 3 because m1 is 3, you could see that, I can show you m1 is 3, so 3 and uh, 3 square minus 1, so 3 square is 9 minus 1 plus what was m2, m2 was 2, so it is going to be 2 times 2 square that is 4 minus 1 plus it is also 2 m3 square that means 4 minus 1 divided by 12 and this whole argument is divided by n is 10 so 10 times 10 square minus 1. Now you could see that this is a little bracket which I forgot to put in this also and I also look into my original formula once again and also stretch it here. Now it looks better. So uh, I hope now you can make the simple arithmetic calculations. You start making the calculations and it is going to end up to 1 minus 44 times 6 divided by 990. That gives me 0 0.733. 
and I'm going to write the m values here once again m1 was 3 m2 was 2 and m3 was also 2 so this is a positive correlation high positive positive sign means both the judges think in same direction that means if two a candidate if judge one is giving high marks second is also giving high marks and uh, 0.73 means it's pretty highly that means both the judges are pretty sensitive to each other thank you very much please post your comments if you require anything thank you